This is December 15th, 2021. We're going to do a walk around video of this 1990 Chevy 1500 Silverado. It's a half ton, two wheel drive, short bed, step side pickup truck. And uh, like I said, we'll do a walk around video of this. This is a rust free truck. It appears to have maybe had one repaint and the clear coat's peeling on it. But it's uh, so it's really a pretty nice truck. It's a, it's got no rust in it. I'll get under it. It's all original paint underneath and then the door jams and there's no rust in there. And uh, just a really good truck. The truck does show 300 and I think 307,000 miles. We'll look at that here in just a minute. Uh, but uh, it's, got a, it's got a new transmission in it. Just had transmission rebuilt by a local shop. I should have a receipt for that here uh, in with the paperwork with the truck. You'll see in the, the pictures later. But uh, the truck runs and drives like I think the truck runs and drives like a like a fifty sixty thousand mile truck. It's just been a real well cared for truck, but uh, like I said, you'll see here it's just a nice truck. There's it's real straight, but the clear coat's peeling on the paint, and I'll show that to you here in just a minute. The grill's really nice. It's original grill for the truck. It's not a repo grill. It's it's a nice grill. Step back here where you can see the whole truck. Again, there's no rust in the truck and everything, you know, everything lines up nice on the truck. my videos are coming out fuzzy I'm working on it I got a new phone I hope it's not fuzzy now I had some trouble with the formatting on the other one I think I fixed it but we'll see uh, I'll keep working on it you can see the clear coat peeling in the hood so it's, it's mainly the hood and the roof you can see the clear coat peeling on the roof but I mean there's a couple places on the doors and on the on the step sides but uh you can see it here Get to the other side of it i think you can see how it's peeling and on the door a little bit but it's it's really a nice truck i kind of like it myself kind of got that patina look to it i think the truck to me would be really nice if you lowered the truck put a set of wheels and tires on it with that patina it'd be really cool but I mean, the truck's nice like it is. It rides good, it drives good. It it drives just like you would expect a, a nice truck to drive. It's been well cared for. And like I said, there's no rust in this truck. Driver side rear, inner fender well. Looking under the floor, there's no rust in the rockers. I mean, just as solid as it can be. frame's nice. There's no rust in the frame. Go around to the other side. Chrome's nice on the bumper. It's missing a license plate light. The light bulb's in there. But it's missing the little chrome lens. Like I said, there's... It's just really nice. This is the passenger side floor pan, inner rockers, you can see the spot welds on the bottom of the rockers, and in the cab corners there's just no rust in this truck, bottom of the doors are nice, as you can see, inside jams, no rust, bottom of the doors, the radio don't work, the air conditioning and all that stuff does the dome light still works here's a couple stains in the seat i'll just take you to the other side and show you that and there's also a rip in the other side of the seat it could use a seat cover the carpet's pretty nice it's original carpet but i think it just depends on what you want to do with it if you want to make a show truck out of it you're going to put new carpet and a seat cover in it if you just want to drive it it's fine like it is but uh 
see the tear in the seat. But, uh, but it's really, all along with a nice truck. I love driving it. it just, it's got a lot of power, shifts good. It's original dash, the dash isn't cracked. It ain't got a cover or cap on it. It's the original dash with no cracks. The only crack is in this piece right there. All of this is nice. The buzzer works good. Again, no rust in the doors. This is the driver's side. There's no rust in the rockers. Just a nice truck. All the gauges seem to work like they should. Showing 307,000 miles. But like I said, the radio comes on. Static comes out of it. But I can't get no stations. The AC does work. We can move it to the floor. Move it back up to the vents. And move it up to the defroster. Everything seems to work like it should. So, move it back down here to the vents. Just make somebody a good truck. The AC does seem to blow cold again. It's winter time. The compressor comes on and kicks off like it's supposed to. It's got a new compressor on it. New, well, I'll show you. It's got all the stickers on it still. It was on it when I got it. Let's leave this running. start on eBay until December 22nd sometime right around there just before Christmas uh, like I said my numbers in the ad on eBay I'll start the vehicle with a uh, I'll start the the bit the auction out at a thousand dollars with no reserve the truck will sell to the highest bidder and this is a nice truck it's not perfect like I showed you the paint's got some places in it but it's a really good running driving truck be a great truck to just drive and use as it is as a daily truck or if you want to make you know if you want to lower it put a set of wheels on it and make a little hot rod out of it it'd be great for that as well if i kept it that's probably what i would do with it and i really like it it's a lot of fun to drive uh, like i said the truck handles the road really well but anyway if you got any questions please feel free to feel free to email text or call we'll do another video here in just a minute with a startup and a drive-by so you can see it going down the road. Thank you guys and have a Merry Christmas.